I changed my hair color again. It's a bit darker, but it is still good. Today, I wanted to talk about Goodbye Christopher Robin. Um, this video is not sponsored. I just really like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> and the PR team was lovely enough to invite me on to a couple of experiences and so I thought I would share them with you guys. I saw the trailer for Goodbye Christopher Robin a few months ago and I absolutely loved it. I shared it everywhere. <laughs> it's just, it's really good. It's one of those trailers that just kind of gives you tingles up your arms. It did make me cry. It absolutely made me cry. So I was very excited to say the least but when I was invited to both the screening of the movie and then the world premiere. Uh, here is me in my dress that day. <laughs> I wasn't that familiar with the original story of Winnie the Pooh. I knew it existed, and I knew that there were stuffed animals involved. I didn't know that A.A. A. Milne, uh, the author of Winnie the Pooh, had actually based Winnie the Pooh off his son. I guess to an extent I did know, but I just... I didn't quite sink in that like his name actually is Christopher Robin, and that's very much what the movie explores. It explores um, the author, the author's life, what influenced him to write Winnie the Pooh in the first place, and then also the kid and how the kid had to grow up being Christopher Robin. And although it's a cool idea in theory, I'm not going to give too much away here. Uh, but basically, you see the kid kind of struggle with having to deal with this level of fame that he's reached at a very young age and he doesn't quite understand what's going on and he's having to deal with press and interviews and other things and you can see how the popularity of the books affected the family. I also learned that the Hundred Acre Woods is real. <laughs> and the PR team arranged a little tour group uh, that I got to take part in and it is such a beautiful place. There's my little one. Quite proud of mine. On our tour group was also the author of the Goodbye Christopher Robin book version, and that was Anne Thwaite. And she's so lovely and interesting and just amazing to talk to. She knows so much about Winnie the Pooh. She wrote one of the official biographies of A.A. A. Milne. So she's very involved in the Winnie the Pooh universe, which I think is fascinating. She's so fascinating. I just had a really good time that day. I had such a good time that day. And if you'd like to, please buy her book because she's just so lovely. Like, I just, I, I really want to support her because she's just that lovely of a person. Back to the movie. Uh, although it deals with a lot of the darker elements uh, revolving around Winnie the Pooh and the family, the movie still has a lot of charm and British humour and other things infused in it. It is a very good film. Many apologies for missing Tuesday's video last week. Uh, I was painting my garage. <laughs> All of our stuff from the garage is in the living room. <laughs> and I'm a bit of a neat freak, so this is driving me a bit crazy. I also got myself this cool shed box thing. I hope you have a lovely, lovely day, and I will see you on Friday. And then Sunday, you better watch out. I think it's Sunday, let me look at my calendar. It'll be the start of a full two months of videos. Are you ready for an art video every day for two months? I think it's gonna be really fun. Oh <laughs> right, yeah, so bye. Bye, bye, bye.